Hello, welcome back. I don't know why you're here, and God knows I don't know why I'm here, beyond the fact that a long time ago, two people had a very irresponsible night, and I'm paying for it for the rest of my life. As we all know. So, this is the last deck I have for Jack Atlas. And it's called The Fallen Angels, and it actually involves the a mix of the Dark Lord monsters and the Dark version of some monsters and was pretty much mostly made just for shits and giggles as we know. So it uses the draw sense dark ability which uh, kind of makes a lot of sense considering this is the dark deck. But let's see. Some things we have here are of course Luna the dark spirit we have a double costume. We have the Dark Lord, I can't pronounce her name. We have Dark Voltanus. Dark General Freed. Dark Valkyria. Dark Elf. Dark Crusader. Dark Lord Morningstar. Belial, Marquis of Darkness. Dark Lord Nestin, and before we actually go any further, which one do you think's prettier? The Marquis or the Morning Star? Which card design do you think's prettier? I can't pick. They both look freaking amazing. But moving on. Nastin, Dark Knight Parshath. I love how he has such a demonic evil grin. <laughs> Dark Lord Marie, or as she used to be known in the card game. Marie the Fallen one. And if you don't believe me, I literally have a card that said I have the card. So We have the Dark Lord, I can't pronounce your name to save my life. Another Dark Lord whose name I can't pronounce. And another one. And Ukobak, I do know you because I played Shin Megami Tensei before. <laughs> Not the Persona series, but the Devil Summoner series involving Raido Kuzunoha. Fun times. <laughs> we also have here Soul Exchange, Mystic Plasma Zone, only because so many dark monsters. Cost down to try and get some of the more powerful ones out, especially some of the ones I could normally summon a little bit easier. The Dark Lord Contract. Two Powers of the Guardians, which I'm surprised this card has not been limited yet. Wall of Disruption. Golden Apples. Dark Mirror Force. Which, in all honesty, I'm kind of leaning towards taking that card out at some point because... It's so situational, but at the same time, the situations it's actually been in have been useful, so I don't know. We have Dark Illusion, which is, again, another one that is situational, but the situations it works means I let convinces me to keep it in. I, oh, it appears I have a shiny version, so I'm going to put the shiny in here. There we go. We have the Dark Lord Descent and the Dark Cure. Now, some of this isn't very good, I'll admit. Others, yes. Let's go. So we got three rounds to do. Let's see what happens, shall we? Good, I'm not muted. Yay. That would be really embarrassing get four minutes in and be muted. Uh, let's go with you, Minty. Erica. Feast of the Fiends. Have I bought this deck yet? I don't know. I switched out some of the decks in the one of the last updates, so I guess I ha don't remember. It's hard to keep up sometimes. Okay. This isn't so bad. Now, 
I've had, I have forgotten a lot of what this deck can do, so I am going to be reading the fuck out of things. First step, I'm laying down a golden apples. We'll see. If this is tribute summoned, you can special summon Dark Lord monsters from your hand or deck up to the number of effect monsters your opponent controls. Effects, once per turn, you can send cards up your deck number of Dark Lord monsters on the field. If you do, gain 500 life. Okay, so this is very similar to then to the Lights. This is actually a little similar to the Light Sworn cards. Okay. And of course, we have Voltanus here. Now, I could put you out there, but I don't want to. I actually want to take advantage of my golden apples and get uh, something else on the field first. No? That's what I want. Life points equal to half the attack of one of the summon monsters of your choice. I think I'll just hold on to that for right this second. Actually, no, I can just uh, sacrifice my cost down here. Sacrifice Dark Cure. And now I can have a Dark Voltanus out and about. Much better, yay! So, let's hit something in the face, shall we? Just smack it with, the, with our staff. Let's see. I really do love Voltanus' look in this. It's the dark, it's almost a Dark Lord. Hmm. Um, we're going to put you down here, summon you, and oh, it's a mimic. Okay, now that concerns me. What is the face down card? Hmm. Hmm. So far, nothing. Okay. So, let's see. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and summon him. So, yes, I will use double cost tone to summon the Morning Star. That really is a pretty card. Okay. And let's just go for death. The desk. <sighs> that was quick. That's why Double Cost On is actually a great card. It's been insanely useful. Decent attack, decent defense, incredibly useful ability. And it doesn't even have to be a normal monster either, which makes it better. That was a comeback picture. Oh yeah, it was, wasn't it? All right, so moving on. Okay, so let's go with you. What's your existence, honey? Magic on Haywire. This should be fun. Should have gotten more coffee before I started the record. Uh, 
At least I'm not going first. So let's see. We have Belial. Golden Apples is good. Dark Lord Contract. Dark Lord Descent. Ugh. So let's go with Golden Apples. At the very least, that is very useful. Let me let's see. Magical Exemplar. Actually, what can you do? Okay. No. Yes! Thank you, darling. See. Okay, so I'm going to summon Ukubak. Uh, Morning Star. Okay, that one can't be special summoned. You're perfect. So that means I should be able to. Yes. All right. You're in defense mode. Well, that sucks. I think I'm just going to put this down here just in case. And get rid of this magical exemplar. You've done your part, dear. I forgot. I didn't. Let's see. Defense position, right. Oh, that's why I get for not reading. No worry. Okay, so I'm gonna move you into defense mode, you into attack mode, and Now, I'm going to pick who I would actually sacrifice because I kind of want Belial out. Oh, that's not going to happen, is it? Darn. Ah, I didn't need to. Yay. So, let's see. So that's two. Now I just need the third. It's done that. <laughs> and it does that on tablet, it does that on mo on phone, it does that on PC. It's just constantly losing surface. <laughs> Alright, so let's take our uh, Dark Lords and uh, try uh, number two.
Nope, not two. This is three. Oh, well, what's your existence? Thanks. Okay. And we'll go for you, Liam. All right. Hello. You're the nice one. You're not getting into any mischief. You just lay up here and be a cute, fuzzy, lovely, sweet boy. All of my pets are mischievous except for one cat. He just likes to loaf. Okay. Yeah, sure, we'll use your existence. What can I do with you? I mean, you can't tell me Marie's ability isn't kind of nice. Now, am I expecting to win this? No. I mean, look at this. Look at this firsthand. This is a disaster already. Sure. Oh, that was stupid. All right. So we'll get rid of Ukabak to summon your existence, and you just hit her that thing in the face. Yay! Now. I mean, I don't see a problem with this. Let's see. Um, you I don't really need so anymore. So you know. Let's see. Uh, we'll hold off for right now. Now, he's probably got something that at the very least can take out Luna, which is fine. Yep. At least with Sorcerer's Spellball, it can. It's okay. We're good. Okay, it's just any two Dark Lord cards. Well, that would be a thing, but I kind of don't at the moment. I mean... Okay, I like this music. It's very heroic. The Dark Elf, otherwise known as you would kill my life points very quickly left to your own devices, my dear. But it is a sacrifice I can make. <laughs> I know, I like the Dark Elf. I think she's very pretty. All right. So that's three. And while I only got to use the big wigs a few times, like a couple of times, I mean, this isn't too shabby. It just feels like there's just not enough support right now for the Dark Lords so beyond, you know, having to go with other monsters, dark monsters to help support it. But that could just be me. But, well, you know what? I'd say that was a good day overall. So, 
on that, I'm going to knock off here. If you would do the holy trifecta of YouTube down below, the like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know thoughts, uh, decks you want to see, games you want me to play, and I'll catch you next time, all right? See ya.